Okay, so this will be bonus video number one. Okay, so in the Google Drive link that you must that you got from staff, we had, there's a few other files in addition to just the license file that you'll find in the folder. Now, there's a couple of these that I want us to take a look at. There's a bunch of files in here titled MA6 underscore fiducial underscore cross something something something. These are alignment marks that we recommend people use for the MA6 mask aligner if you need to do multi-level lithography. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of each of these right now. Now these files are basically the same file just designed in slightly different ways. So first let's go ahead and take a look at this cross this MA6 fiducial cross DF. Let's take a look at that and see what that's all about. Okay, so these are alignment marks that we suggest that you use for the MA6. If you look inside here, you see wafer four inch underscore cross DF. So these are alignment marks that we recommend for four inch wafers. And there's also a three inch wafer version, which is basically the same alignment marks just pulled in a little bit for three inch wafers. And you'll see here that there's this cell here, single cross DF. So this is an alignment, this is uh, one of our alignment marks here. Okay, so you'll see here that we've got our pattern in two different layers. If I zoom in here, this is really what we want to look at. We have a cross here in the middle and we'll call this a window around the outside of it. And let's take a look at each of these Oops, each of these layers. So right now layer one is highlighted and layer two is also there. I'm gonna hide layer two. Okay, so here what you're looking at is the cross in layer one. And so the idea behind these alignment marks is that you're gonna wanna get the cross to show up on your wafer. Now whether, whether the cross should be bright field or dark field, that's for you to decide. And if you're not sure which version to use, you can always ask, ask us uh, staff. So if I look at this alignment mark here, this is this file is called cross DF, which for uh, cross dark field. So this is the dark field version of the cross, meaning that most of the area would not end up transparent on the mask. So here, everywhere that you see in that has some kind of that's some kind of polygon, this will end up transparent on the mask. So this would have this little cross here transparent, and then everywhere that you see black would not let the light through on the mask. So this would print a dark field cross, a cross in dark field uh, on, onto the mask. You'll also see some half of some vernier marks here. I'll explain that in a moment. Okay, so in, in general, we're gonna want, uh, Okay, oh, I'm sorry, technical difficulties. There we go, okay. So in general, we're gonna want to have the window in bright field basically always, because what the way this works is that you get the cross to line up inside of the window. So you'll wanna be able to see the cross through the window um, pretty much in every case. So that's a single cross. And also down here, you'll notice we have these little, these funny looking marks here. Now these marks are referred to, this is sort of a classic uh, alignment mark that people use uh, for measuring alignments and how well, the, how well the tool actually aligned the sample to the mask. So let's take a look at the X direction here. Basically there's one, there's a set of these in the Y direction, we'll, which follows the exact same idea. Okay, so here, You'll see that there's sort of a cutout in the second layer, and then there's also in the first layer uh, some of these marks here. And this is designed so that if the wafer is perfectly aligned, if the alignment between the two layers that you've printed on your, under your sample are perfectly aligned, these two alignment marks, or these two vernier marks here in the middle would line up perfectly. If the wafer 
is shifted to the left by one micron, then this mark here would line up with this mark here. If the wafer shifted to the left two microns, this mark here would line up with this mark here, and so on and so on. And so if the wafer was shifted to the right by one micron, this mark would line up with here with this mark. If it was shifted by two microns, this mark would line up with this mark, and so on and so on. So you can so you can get a nice, quick, easy visual representation of the X and Y alignment when you print this on your wafer. So that's the that's the dark field version of of these alignment marks. Oops, sorry. Okay. Now let's take a look at the bright field version. So I was looking at the cross dark field. Let's look at the cross bright field. Okay, so this is the bright field version. Again, you have four inch wafer cross bright field, three inch wafer cross bright field, it's the same idea. Now this bright field version of the cross or of the alignment marks is designed the exact same way as the dark field version, except the tone is inverted on the cross. So here we would be exposing, we would be, we would have the mask to be transparent everywhere around this cross instead of only the cross. So it's the tone of, we say that the tone of that is reversed versus the other file that I showed you. And it also has these vernier marks uh, just like the other one does, just in the appropriate tone. And layer two is the exact same as layer two on the dark field version. Oops, there we go. It's the exact same. Okay. And so it's up to you in, in sort of thinking through your process, you have to decide which version you'd like to use because it'll, you know, it'll have a serious impact on your, on your process. Okay. Now, Let's take a look at the small version. So we looked at cross DF, and there's also cross DF small. Let's take a look at that one. Now this is actually designed the same way as the other dark field crosses that we saw, the other dark field uh, alignment mark file that we looked at. But you'll see that the area that we're that we have the area of the real estate that this is going to take up on the wafer is a lot less. This will be these marks will be a little bit harder to find on your way or these this will be a little bit harder to find when you go to use these on the mask aligner, but they take up they take up less space. So it's it's again that's another decision that you can make. It has the verniers, it has the cross, it has everything else. It's just a small this is the small version is just a smaller area versus uh, versus the full version. And now we also have these two files as well, cross DF, cross BF. Uh, there's also a BSA version, stands for backside alignment. So if you're going to align an exposure, if you're going to process one side of the wafer and then flip it over and process the other side of the wafer, uh, these alignment marks can be used for that too, or this this version. You'll notice that really, really the main difference between this version and the other versions that we saw was that you have to design, you have to design, you have to put the alignment marks in a certain place. This, uh, what you're seeing is layer zero here, this kind of red silhouette. Uh, this is actually, it's, it's just a, uh, it's just a little visual representation of the chuck of the uh, the chuck that we have for the tool. And so these little windows here that I'm that I'm showing you here, these are where these are the holes in the back side of the chuck that have uh, that the, that you can use to look through the camera. So then we can basically put we can put these alignment marks anywhere inside of these rectangles here. Now if you're going to do backside alignment, especially if you're going to do backside alignment, I would strongly encourage you to ask staff because then staff you might want a little bit of extra training on the tool from staff, and also to have us take a, a second look at your a second look at your design to make sure that it's that it's okay to go and that things are going to work when you actually make your masks. So that's a little bit about that. So if you're going to use these fiducials, uh, GDS 